Can I take your order, please? In Building with Earth Bags, we discovered our family thrived creatively and grew stronger by working side by side. We welcome you to be part of our family and for this week's adventure. When we built the crib for Azalea, we intended to be able to use it for any future kids we had to, but we did want to have something that's personalized to them, and that's why we did the mobile for Azalea. She had the little Azalea flower. So we're going to build another little mobile for this baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and put up the brown bottles that have been recently delabeled. Mom worked really hard. They look all great and ready to go up on our bottle wall here. And we're gonna do our little brown mountain range. For the center of the mobile, we're thinking a draft, and ignore this draft. That's not the draft we're doing. It's gonna be kind of hanging in the center. Yeah, so we're thinking little clouds and stars. Let's go get our wood. I hope there's some smaller junk. I know we got a lot of like six and eight foot pieces. We hope can just cut a little section off, right? I think I'm just gonna get the chainsaw and cut a little chunk off of one of the big ones. Yeah, they're not as cracked. Yeah, we can get some good material then. Look how pretty that is. It gets cut. Is gorgeous. That looks like a solid piece of wood. Yeah. Maybe I'll do a chunk like that big, and I think yeah. we'll be able to get everything out of it. You know, we'll shave down the edges. Yeah. What are those? The cows? Can you talk to them? Hey. Yeah. We get to finally get to that mountainscape. Yes! It sits on top of the walls of the outdoor shower. This project has almost peaked. <laughs> so this was our ingenious thought because we got to put more bags down. We have a lot of old and rusty nails we'd kind of like to utilize. What do you think, Mom? I love it. And then the bags will lay right on that. Poke right in. Be one with nature. Nice. I don't think we need bottles in the middle. You're right, light can't really get through anyway. Oh, and then the bag will kind of sit in. And then we can put nails in the middle. We wouldn't need to put mortar there. No. And the bag will kind of sit in here and that way it won't come over the top. So we'll bring these as far over to the edge as we can. Oh, I, like I love that. it. Let's do it, Bree. I like okay. that better. All right, let's do it. We decided that it seemed kind of silly, at least in the dips, to be doing a third bottle. So instead, we're gonna do three bottles, but only in the areas where it's gonna be the absolute top of the wall. In any of the dips, we're just gonna do one on either side and see how that fares. Yes, on all the tops. Okay. Did you get them all cut? I did. Ooh, this, this look good. This wood is so nice and soft. <laughs> it's fun <laughs> to cut. Here's your last ball. Yeah. Let's make it bigger than that. Back 
to the drawing. Mm-hmm. What'd you find? Hey, the big rock. That's cool. I think that's a lot better. Oh, that's perfect, babe. So now, we just gotta carve it. Simple. Are you work on your clouds? Sure. I got my three clouds. The star is gonna be the same. Perfect. Something like that. What's your job, kid? Picking up trash? I got the draft cut out. It looks good. Sorry. Really wide, but. <laughs> I think it's gonna be good though, cause there's a crack right here. I don't want that to break later, you know? And then we'll thin the body up too. Something like that. It's like three giraffes standing next to each other. That's exactly what it is. I got these things all cut out. I'm gonna trace them out. Perfect. What do you think? Yeah. Is that a funky looking star? No, it looks perfect. Got the legs cut into the draft. That's roughed out. Let's get some stars cut out. Okay. Nice, you got two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> The mountain came together pretty easy and you finished the tops. So why don't we put the sunshine in? We're and there, made sense. These are my sun bottles. Maybe I could do a half of one and half of another. Do the other orange. Okay, that one got a little lighter. So if I go yellow first, I get a lighter one. So started doing that and I didn't realize that up to about the third and fourth level. You can't do that many levels no. in one day without yeah. letting them set. But I thought, okay, I'll, I'll be okay. It, I'll just stop there and I'll mm -hmm. come back. I decided to take a tumble. The sun truly was setting on that project. I do want to say, for the record, I got some ace catching bottle situation and three bottles came down and I caught both bottles and then I caught one in between my things and I was like, this is so cool, but also so sad. It's not fun to have your work come tumbling down. So I couldn't be like, mom, you should have seen this catch, you know? But I came around and I, I had everything and I was like, I caught it, mom. I caught it. And then she kissed it on the front and bottles start falling off the front She was side. awake of bottles and I was catching them after her. Uh, every time I'm like, yes. So today we are gonna cast some beautiful handles for these lovely doors. Founders heating up, which is a good thing. Metal in there right now. It's liquefying. I wish it was hotter. Now this dream go up in smoke. No worries though. Bryson always finds a way. The biggest will known to man. One more star? Last piece here. Alrighty, I got all the different parts roughed out. Now, I think it's time to just start carving away. I'm gonna use my Dremel tool and a few different bits here to get the shapes I'm hoping for, I guess. We did a jungle theme for our nursery, and because we did so many elephants with Azalea, that was kind of her thing, that we forced upon her. <laughs> we thought we'd force upon the new girl, the little giraffes, because, you know. They're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> 
that is the last cloud finished up. So that should be all the outer pieces now. Time to figure out this draft. These turned out so cool. You can see me and Mike all bubbly. They look like clouds for sure. Oh, good. I hope so. I'm gonna poly everything in these. Okay, perfect. Oh, I gotta think through this one better. Not wing it as much. Why? Winging it work? Yeah, but last time I wung something. You had to recarve? Had to recarve, yeah. <laughs> well, got the draft finished. Aw, so cute. Gotta patch that little spot there, and then let's put some... Uh, Polyurethane on that one, huh? Yeah. Oh, wow, those are pretty. Yeah, I almost hate to paint them. Wow, that's just so pretty. Cedar is so red. It looks like you're painting it red. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. More cans. Cans. You got that can do spirit. Woo! When I poured this, I assumed that this metal piece that's down here would just keep a flat end with this against it. But what I didn't anticipate was the expanding of this and what it would do when it's in a frame. Of course it is to pop out. It ended up popping out the bottom and warping the bottom of the pan and lifting up the mold in the process. That would be a pretty funky looking animal. <laughs> Sorry. Bummer. You can do it. We believe in you. If you don't catch it today and it actually breaks, we'll have more. Sorry, right, Mom, we'll be here for you. Originally, we were just gonna go up mm -hmm. all horizontal and I don't think that would look as good. It seemed like, you know, we should almost turn those bottles to more of a sunshiny look. Having some vertical ones in there, kind of a little raise that you get to see off the sun. We need to build up the mortar. Maybe you can put a rock in between the two for now? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. You can find, Mom, the perfect rock. Dude, let's get it wet. I almost think it's gonna, no. A stick also might work for you. Yeah. This one's an actual why, ma. Why ask why? Better yet, why not? Could it work? I think so. Ah. Just needs to set for a little bit and then I can mess Add with more. it again. Yeah. Whoa. Can you see that? Yeah, it's like bubbles in there. <laughs> That's so cool. So it almost has a line inside of it. That's hilarious. Ask awesome. me how that happened, but it even if they're not perfect, it, it doesn't matter. But you, I kind of want them sort of the same in a way. <laughs> hey, sunny side up looks great. My thought is, is that mom builds both sides kind of at the same time. It'll be a little thicker going up and uh, may support itself a little better. That's the running theory. We shall see. Yeah, and you know, I think when we built that one in the kitchen, I think what we did was we waited a day between each little row and that's what helped with the success of that too. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have to wait a whole day, but I think what we'll do is just give it some time to set. The one in the shower area, I'm gonna fan at a lower level than the one on the outside of the shower. I'm thinking if you can see the layer behind it from the inside. I don't know if that'll work, but I thought that'd be kind of fun to try. Mm -hmm. I made a, a completely flat bed of green sand, and that's what I cast it on top of. And it cast it absolutely beautiful. No weird bubbling or warping. My mom always says, you always learn something from a failure. And this time around, I learned not to use metal sheet pans as the bottom of a mold. <laughs> I realized that how important it was to have the entire part in green sand, including the bottom. Hold on. I ended up just making a flat green sand and no metal or anything that could swell or act weird was around it. This was a really good pour though. It was beautiful, huh? Mm hmm What I feed my pig in? Yes, it is. Don't worry, I'll clean it out. Right on, Bri. Very cool. Good job. I'm gonna start working on what we're gonna mount all of the little clouds and stars in the giraffe to. On Azalea's, we did a horseshoe ring. This time, I'm thinking. What we'll do is something kind of like that. And just put a screw right through the center. The giraffe will hang from the center and then we'll just have clouds and stars around the whole edge. I'm gonna start sanding these down, trying to make them rounder. Something kind of like that. Okay, I got these all sanded like I want them. So I'm gonna take them in and put them together and give them a coat of polyurethane. We'll leave them a wood look. Okay, we are gonna get started on painting. I think we're at that step. It's oh, exciting. Awesome. So we're doing pink stars? Yeah, how pink? I would say like a light pink. 
Barely needed. Oh, I got you. That's funny. So you know how you said woo? Woo! I was right? No, I was right. Look how perfect that is. <laughs> A little more red then. <laughs> more red? I don't think so. Look how much lighter it got. That was a ton lighter. Yeah, that looks really good actually. All right, you're all right. Yeah, you heard it here first. When it comes to quality paints, it's all in the drying rack. That makes sense. I always make sense. Okay, final star. Oh, those are cute, babe. I might touch these up a little bit. On your handy dandy drying rack? Yeah, this is why this is what makes the drying rack. It makes it so professional. Okay, we're doing the clouds next. Aww. Let's give it the pink too, didn't it? Yeah, I think so. Number two, and there we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, that could be cleaned up, don't you think? Yeah, there it is. Wow. That's so cool. So cool. Good job. Wow, Good huh? Job. Yeah, huh? Here, let's uh, get inside and cool it off with water. All right. Yeah. And this time around, it casted beautiful. So now I've just got to get the other handle casted. And when that's done, clean them up and assemble them on the doors. Oh, it looks nice. What are you up to over here, Mom? Well, I think I got a little ambitious because I don't think he's going to stand. Oh, <laughs> I don't good. know if I dare. Do I dare? That's so scary. I'm not going to lie. Oh. oh, no. There's no way those are going to stay. Okay. Oh, it's so fun. It's so sun. <laughs> <gasps> nice catch. All right. Good. It looks sunshiny. It looks sunshiny on a cloudy day. Yeah, especially up against the blue sky. This is gonna be a shelf in between. And if you notice on this side, you got a double layer. Okay. So if you look at the sunshine from this side, you get kind of a background too. Oh, nice. I mean, I'm happy with it. You know, I don't know if you can look at the wall and say, oh, that's a river and that's a mountain and that's the sunshine, but it'll mean it to us. Yeah, I think it does. <laughs> I think it does. It's very fun. Very colorful. I love that the sun adds another color on the wall as well. It's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. All nature's colors are there. Now we have a little more bagging to do, which we'll do next week. The little creases between the sunshine and the mountains, mm -hmm. they'll be in there. And then on the other end pieces too, we'll have to go in. And then that wall should be ready to start stuccoing, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this fun? It is. More fun than a barrel of monkeys. I don't think a barrel of monkeys would be very fun. Unless they had soft little ways. <laughs> Giraffe. Okay. Giraffe is done. All set to go now. All right, I got this thing finished up. So if we hang it on that sketchy wire. <laughs> Perfect. Should we start? Yeah, sure. Ooh, nice and clean. High on the clouds and low on the stars. Well, technically, if you think about it, the stars would be higher than the clouds. <laughs> That's true. I don't think it matters. About right there, you think? Sure. Let's give it that quintuple knot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that looks about good right there. there. We're going to stagger them, right? Yeah. Right about there? I think so. Who knew we were going to have to worry about weight distribution in this thing? <laughs> I didn't yeah. even think about that. Me neither. To balance our clouds and our right. stars. More weight on this side. Ooh! <laughs> I got an idea. These... Are those tire weights? Our tire weights, yes. <laughs> Let's try and put one on. Oh, we can use a tent. Huh? Hey, that looks good. Are we cutting the strings? Small one. Put the giraffe on. It's time. Let's take her inside. The new mobile looks really good. 
on the crib and hang it in the room. We're not gonna leave it up in there. We'll put Azalea's back up because new baby isn't gonna move into that room for a little while now. Not just yet. We'll keep her in our room with us for just a couple months and then we put another room together for Azalea where she plays a lot now. And that's where Azalea will move to and the new baby will go into the nursery. up this week. The t-shirt design of the week is a St. Patty's inspired design. Bottle O Sunshine. If you'd like to get this on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, handbag, apron, or our numerous products that we offer on our shop, as well as previous designs that we've done in past weeks, you can check out the link in the description. We have a sale of 15% off of everything now through Tuesday. So if you'd like to take advantage of that, uh, that is also rocking and rolling. If you like what you see, please uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We love to hear from you. And we do address a lot of comments and take your suggestions over on our podcast that happens on Monday. So if you haven't tuned into one of those, you might think about it. We really appreciate you being a part of our family and we look forward to hanging out with you on Monday for that podcast. Bye! Thank you! Let me get my gloves on though because these things are horrible. We're taking all the moisture out of your out of your hands. End up with uh, raisin hands. <laughs> I was able to put a lid on top which really increased the heat, um, really helped with melting it and everything, so. Looking forward to seeing it. We'll see if it turns out. I don't know if it will turn out, but we'll see. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. The string is sticky. Mm-hmm. It's covered in wax. Oh. Of some sort. I was thinking our kid ate it or something. <laughs>